Let's talk about collection agencies, right? Collection agencies, they will do, they will say whatever, they will lie. They, it doesn't matter what they need to do. They'll do it for you to make a single payment. And once you make a payment, guess what? You are hooked. You, you're hooked. Why are you saying this, Ray? What do you mean by this? False and misleading information. A lot of these collection agencies use a lot of deceptive tactics. You will be outside of the statute of limitation. And what the statute of limitation means, different debts have different time period for which the debt can be legally collected. When that time period has passed, it is outside the scope of the statute of limitation, meaning that it is not, they can't legally collect on it. Let me give you an example. Debts in New York are three years. The statute of limitation on debts in New York is three years. Outside of that three year, the statute of limitation has passed. So if a debt collector is using deceptive means to collect on a debt, a collection that is three years older, three years old or more, it is against the law. They will use such deceptive tactics. And what you need to know is this. The contract didn't originate with the debt collector. It came from somewhere. It could have been a credit card account, a repo account, a payday loan, a personal loan. It came from somewhere. That institution that originated the loan, guess what? There's a contract. And nine times out of 10, guys, nine times out of 10, there is an arbitration clause inside that contract. And what it normally says is something of this nature. Binding arbitration, if there's any dispute, it gets settled via binding arbitration. So if there's any issues with the account, any dispute, it should go to arbitration first. So the fact that they sold that alleged debt to a debt collector, that is the first violation of the terms and condition in the contract. Secondly, you don't owe this debt collector anything because you don't have a contract with them. So not only was the arbitration clause violated, they are now violating your eyes using deceptive tactics, means false and misleading information to coerce you into paying a debt that you don't even owe. It is disgusting, I know. I've seen it so many times. I've gotten so many emails from so many people regarding debt collection. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video. So if you have collections and you are being sued by a debt collector, <laughs> I ain't even gonna drop that gem right here, but just know that there are consumer laws out there to protect you. Where is the agreement between the contract? Where do I owe you, Mr. Debt Collector? And furthermore, why are we in court? Because the arbitration provision, the arbitration provision, if you allegedly bought that debt, the arbitration provision stands as true. So it got, okay, you bought the contract. So if you bought the contract, it means you bought everything that came with the contract. So why are we in court and not in arbitration? Why are you being sued and why are we not in arbitration? You bought the contract, the arbitration clause still stands as firm. That is another violation. So guys, I just want you to read your terms and conditions. There's too much deceptive, too much deceptive collections going on and we need to stop it. An educated consumer will never be at the mercy of any debt collector.